classic Blair track, Coffee and TV. So we'll start by looking at the chords. After the intro, we're coming in with two bars of B. So I'm just playing B bar chord there. And then we've got a bar of A minor to a bar of E. Okay, so B, A minor, E. Then we're G, we've got a G. And the next chord is an F major 7 sharp 11, which sounds much more complicated than it is. It's simply 3 on D, 2 on G, open B string, open E string. Okay, F, A, B, E. That's root, third, sharp 11, major 7. Okay. And then I'm going to a, a B flat 6 chord. So I've got G, F major 7 sharp 11, B flat 6. Although the other guitar is playing the G, okay, in the chord that it's playing, so you could get away with just playing a, a standard B flat bar chord, that'd work too. But I was playing it, thought it'd be nice to put the B flat 6 in as. 6 on E, 5 on D, 7 on G, 6, 6 on B there, and then a D flat, okay, so that's that first sequence, that's the intro after the kind of solo guitar part, and then first part of the verse, and then the second part of the verse, we repeat just the last chords are different. So again, we've got B, two bars, A minor, E, G, F major seven sharp 11, B flat six, and then this time, we've got an A to A major seven with an added ninth. So I'm just playing open A, six and six on D and G, open B, open E. And that's taking me into the chorus, okay? So, again, that second part of the verse, it repeats B, A minor, E, G, F major 7 sharp 11, B flat 6, and the second time, A, A major 7, add 9. And we pick up, and we're into the chorus which is a C, two bars, to the B, to A, okay, so C sharp minor, B, A, back to C sharp minor, from one bar, to E, to A, to B, okay, C sharp minor, E, a, B, okay, and then again, repeat, C sharp minor, B, A, C sharp minor, E, A, D, we can start over again, to A, okay, and so that's the chorus. And then it just repeats verse, chorus, and the guitar solo played over verse, and you've got chorus. And then just at the end, okay, at the last chorus, we've got the D. It's the A. To A sharp, then B. Two bars to D. in A sharp again, back to B, and that just keeps going round on the play out, B, D, A. Okay, so that's the chords, and next we'll take a look at the electric rhythm part. So I'm starting on the root and third of the B chord, and then that third note, I'm just bending it to an E and back, so you get, you get a sus4. But I think it's a bend, you could play uh, the note just by 
playing it and pulling it off, but it's nice to get that. So I'm just playing 9 and 8 and just bending that 8 on the G string. Then again, I'm just playing root and third on the A minor chord, just 7 and 5. Then on the E chord, I'm adding an octave F sharp. Getting E9 there. Down to E. So I'm playing 9 and 11 on the A and G strings, down to 7 and 9. And then on the G chord, I'm just playing again root and third, G and B, 5 and 4 on the D and G strings. Then I'm playing a sort of full chord here for this F minor 7, F major 7, sorry. Uh, sharp 11. It's just 3, 2, open, open. Yeah. And then we've got this B flat 6, which I'm just playing root 6 and 5th here. So you've got 8, open G. And F, so you get that nice clash there. Yeah, so you've got... And then... I'm just bowing across six on the D, G and B strings for that D flat chord. And then I just repeat it all the same again, except after this chord, your B flat six chord, I'm playing an A root and third, the seven and six. And then sliding up from F sharp and B, G sharp and C sharp, so four, four and four on D and G to six and six. Adding a D there gives you a brief kind of suspended chord and back to six and six. So the first, second time round during the verse, it's just the same, different ending. So you've got. Okay, and then we're into the chorus. So I'm starting on a C sharp minor seven. So I'm just playing that nine, 11, and just a bar across nine with 11 on the A string. To a B. And it's an octave run down, I'm playing. B octave on 14 and 16 of the A and G strings. Moving that down to 12 and 14 for A. And G sharp on 11 and 13. And moving that down to 7 and 9 for an E. Then over the C sharp minor chord, I'm playing an, an F sharp. Yeah, uh, so I'm playing 9 and 11. And then over the E chord, I'm playing the third of the chord, G sharp, okay, on 11 and 13. I'm moving that down to F sharp. So, go. so that's over the C sharp minor to E chords. And then I've got... So over the A chord, Playing a ninth note, a B, to a seventh note, so it kind of gives us an A9 chord. 
I'm playing 14 and 16 to 10 and 12, again on the A and G strings. Then to a B, just a B chord. And then I'm just going to repeat that all again to C sharp minor 7. Just same, B. One down, that F sharp. G sharp to F sharp. B to G. So. And then we go to a D chord and playing this on the offbeat. So I'm just playing that on the top four strings, D major. We can start an A, which is nice to play up the neck. Okay, and then you're back into, it just repeats first choruses and over the guitar solo, under the guitar solo you've got um, a first chord section. Okay, so that's it until the end to the play out, which is very simply, um, so we're going out of a chorus and then we're going um, into a B chord, but instead of going back into... Okay, I'm just playing... A B... To a D... To an A... And to an A sharp as a passing chord back to the B. So at the end of the song, you're just going round and round B... D... A... A sharp... B. Okay, and okay, so that's a great uh, chord sequence there, I love that. So we'll take a look next at the intro and guitar solos. There's two guitars on the intro, but I just played an approximation of it as a one guitar part, and I'm starting with... Okay, I'm playing D, G, F, A. So 10, 10, 10, the bottom three strings. 12 on the A string. Then I've got. I'll play. B flat, D, F, G harmonic to E. So I'm playing 13, 12, 10 on the A, D, and G strings. Then hit in a G harmonic. Then an E on 14 on the D string. Then I put, I'm moving that E up to an F, or use my little finger, or just slide it up. So 14 to 15. Then playing a, a D harmonic. We could just play D note, whatever works best for you, but and nice to get those little harmonics in. So just lightly tapping that string on 12 and a C on 13 on the B string. So D string to B string. So then that C note again. So I've got C, A, B flat. F to B flat, so I'm playing 13 on B, then 14, 15 on G, to 13 on E, to all the way up to 18 on E, then F E, 18, um, 18, 17, back to 17 on E. F, E, A, then B and A, sorry, B flat, sorry. B flat, A, B flat again. So that's 18 and 17 and 18. Okay, so that's a single guitar version of the intro. Love this solo, I'm starting on a B. <coughs> On 12 on the B string, then F sharp, G sharp, A, 11, 13, 14 on the G string. Then down to an E. 
on nine. And then I've got, I'm just really just hitting a, a G note, but not really playing it. I'm just kind of just catching that bottom string on 15. And then hitting an E on 17 on the B string. And then just moving that down two frets. Do the same thing, kind of catching that bottom string around about 13 and hitting a D on 15. Then I'm tremolo picking, just picking up and down on a G and bending it up on 12 and then just bending an F a semitone so bending that G up, up kind of towards A a tone the F again just bend and release just at the end on 10 so just bending 12 and 10 okay and then we're going down the neck to just a slow bend up to a B so just bending A slowly up a tone so just bending two up towards four and then I've got then we've got this nice kind of nasty sound here which you just get by playing an E and bending a D but don't bend it all the way so you get five and seven on the B and G strings get a really kind of clashy sound by just doing a not a full bend and then just just a double bend on that F sharp on the 7 on the B string down to 5 down to an E and then just really giving it some whammy bar on a B twice, two bars, going up to a D, going to an E, so you're just going four to seven to nine, and then again, just hitting that G again on 15, and last note is an E on 17 on the B string, and a great solo. Then at the end, we've just got some little solo bits that's got loads of effects on, so you just got to kind of get quite close to them. But basically, we've got things like just hitting an A note, an octave. Seems to be doing a little bit of that. Okay, just hitting 14 and 17 on the G and E strings. Okay, and then. A little D to A with some whammy bar again. Okay, all very loose. This is not precise, but just kind of getting these kind of like avant garde ish noises at the end. It's great. Okay, 15 to 14 on the B and G strings. And then I think the next one it just goes D to B. So 15 to 12 on the B string. Then seems to be like a slow bend up on a C sharp and then last one seems to be a bit of a bend down on a G so slow bend up on a 14 on the B string hitting 15 on the E string but this end section you could just really kind of make some stuff up and have some fun on that it's a good chance to kind of improvise um, because it's all very like, out there and discordant and great fun. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the bass. Starting with a B and A. So I'm playing nine and seven on the D string. Then a B, F sharp B, nine, nine, nine on the D and A strings. Then over the A minor chord, I'm playing A on 7 on the D string, 
E on 7 on the A string, G on 5 on the D string, and then basically the same thing but a string down now. So E, B, D, E, 7, 7, 5 again, but this time on the A and E strings. Then basically the same again now, but two frets lower for the G chord, G, D, F, G, 5, 5, 3, 5 on the D and A strings. And then the first time I'm playing, just going down on the F chord, F, E, D, C, 3, 2, open, 3. But later times, during the verses, I'm playing an F, open A, C, open D. It's a little variation there. And on the guitar solo, I played the descending one again. I mean, both fit, so they're kind of interchangeable, but... And then we go to a B flat, a one on the A string, to a D flat. Okay. And then it repeats all again for the first part of the verse. And the second part of the verse, it all repeats apart from we don't go to the D flat. We go from B flat. To an A, leading us into the chorus. So I'm playing the A. Starting on the low A, going up to the octave A on 5 and 7 on E and D. And just leading to the chorus, I played that fill again. A, E, G, A. Taking us into the chorus. So I'm now playing. So I've got two bars of C sharp to start the chorus. So I'm playing a C sharp on 4. Put a fill in for two and four, G sharp, B, C sharp on the E and A strings to a B, to an A. Put a little fill in that A, so I'll play five and and then four, seven, so just A chord tones back to the C sharp to an E, so four to seven. To an A, so then to a B, the first half of the chorus. So it's five to seven. Again, just put a little fill in there if you want to. Just stay on that B, but it's nice to just go six to nine, D sharp to F sharp. Again, just B chord tones. And then you're back to the start. Another two bars of C sharp minor there to B. A, C sharp again, to an E, to an A, I've got two bars of D, so play down five on the A string, and then play the little climb up, to go to the A, D, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So, so I'm just playing two, three, four, five. And again, jump up an octave. Put a fill in if you want to. Oh, oh yeah, and this time, the, the fill I did was a um, nice little one. To take us back into a verse, so I'm playing an A. And then A, E, A, E, A, E, A, A sharp, B, taking us into a repeat. Okay, so it's just seven and seven on D and A, eight, and then we're back to the start. All right, great stuff. And just at the end of the song, I'm just playing, a, a, just we come out of the chorus and we're back into uh, back into an A and it just goes round at the end little, little climb up from the A A to A sharp and then the 
B to a D to an A to an A sharp back to a B and that just goes round seven five five passing note six back to seven and so that's just the outro section going round and round that little bit there okay great song and uh, as always thanks for watching buddies